Hello everybody, welcome to another video. This week tech tutorial, I'm going to be returning to doing some uh, things with OBS. And I'm going to show you uh, a few of the sources in more detail. And particularly today I'm going to be showing you the VLC video source. Uh, what VLC video source does is that it would bring in videos and audio to be played in your uh, OBS scenes. So, in instance, you want to play a video by your live streaming, or when you want to, you know, play a video, you do a reaction video um, during your uh, recording, you could do that using OBS. So, first thing first, you need to have VLC installed, because after all, it is VLC video source so you need to have VLC installed on your computer before you can use VLC video source without it your it may function it won't function properly so you definitely need to have it you know installed uh, on your computer now um, to get VLC you need to go to uh, videoland.org now, VLC is completely free. Uh, some of you may already using it. It's really quite popular. Um, it's available for you know, Windows, Mac, and Linux. And it's a great uh, media player. Uh, I use, uh, you know, you know, VLC as my default player instead of using the, the movie player that comes with Windows. Because it loads up faster and pretty much could play any file you could feed into it. So, and plus it's free, so you can't beat that thing. You know, that is free. Oh. So, I mean, you you could have an option of uh, donating uh, to them. After all, they did make play a nice piece of software over here. Now, if you remember, uh, in previous videos, I uh, went to the site to get a file uh, that was for my uh, DVD backup video. Now, if you're interested in how to backup your DVDs, I'll leave a link on top so you can go back and check that out if you're interested uh, to make a backup of your uh, DVD action. But anyway, let's uh, continue on. Let's uh, add a scene. I'm gonna call this scene VLC. And let's uh, add webcam. There we go. No. And we're gonna add the uh, VLC uh, video source. Now, to add files to be played on your OBS scene, I'll just hit the plus button. And you can either add a single file or a couple of files. You can add a directory full of files, or you could point to a URL. As long as uh, VLC could play it, then you know it wouldn't be a problem to uh, play uh, a URL site uh, site as long as it could play in DLC uh, it will play um, uh, on here let's add a few files add let's just play it Put this, let's bring the webcam to the front. Like with all uh, video sources, you can resize it. Uh, the size. Uh, you can also unhide it and hide it and uh, show it again. 
As you see, it replayed uh, the first file again. To change that order, you could uh, over here the visibility behavior. You could have it pause and just to unpause it. It would just uh, play back from uh, that point that you pause it, or you could just you know have it hide and it doesn't matter. You just continue on playing, and then when you we show it again. It would just play whatever spot that is at. Um, so, so. Usually, by default, it would just restart when you hide it and you know, start from the beginning. Sometimes, when you hide it, you just pretty much want to pause it, so you can select the second option too. So, let's see, yeah, uh, right now it's playing. Again. Hide it. Let's wait until we get to the second file. When we get to the second file, hide it, and show it again. It would just continue playing from the second file. It will not start from the beginning. Also, like I said, you could move the order. You could put this in the bottom, put this on top. Or you want to change the first file to play something else. Bumper code. Start off playing bumper cards first. Or you could just. Uh, the beat at all. The play nothing. <laughs> also, uh, you could, like I said, it's not just a video player, but play uh, music as well. So, I don't hear anything. Well. Right now, if you look at the VLC video source, there's activity going on, it is playing. Just that it wouldn't play when, you know, for your ears, but it, it will be played during the recording or during the live stream. Now, if you want to listen to it uh, while you're streaming or recording, you know, just go to uh, here to the gear button, go to advanced audio properties and just change the oil audio monitoring to monitor oil. No, if it's too loud. Now you can hear it playing and as well while it's streaming and your audience could hear it or when you're recording so a person watching a video will hear the audio so All right that's pretty much it for uh, VOC video source if you have any questions, leave in the comments below, and I get back with you through the comments. Hit the like button if you found this uh, tutorial useful, and uh, hit the subscribe buttons uh, to check out my other videos and upcoming videos. Hit the notification bell to get notified of uh, upcoming videos. As always, everybody. Have a nice day, and I see you on the next video. Take care, everybody.